like he's going to be 0-1 on number retirement night. When Blake Mitchell finds Sidney Rice, Gamecocks lead 7-0. And then Mitchell gets sacked in the end zone. Jason Hall coming up with the safety, and the Volunteers had a 12-7 lead. Arian Foster, shades of the Alabama game, except there was really no big hit here. Foster just lost the football on his way to the end zone, and the Vols blow an opportunity to score. 12-7 games, Tennessee clinging to the lead. Mitchell, Rice. Gamecocks, 13-12, they missed the two-point conversion. Now still in the fourth, Tennessee needing a field goal, and James Will Hoyt delivers. Tennessee on top, 15-13, Phil's team trying to save themselves, but the Gamecocks on the ensuing possession. Fourth and eight, Josh Brown, toe meets leather, and the Gamecocks hang on to win on Rocky Top for the first time in 13. Ooh. Oh, it's not pretty in Knoxville. Alex Flanagan with Stephen Orr Spurrier after the game. We thought we had a chance to make history. If the ball bounced our way, and it did, we had some good things happen. So uh, we're excited. First time South Carolina's ever won here. So we did some history tonight. All right, well, what history was made tonight, aside from the first, first ever win? First win ever for so South Carolina. What about for you and your program? What kind of history? Well, what does it mean? Well, we beat right? one of the top three in the East. So that's good for us, and uh, hadn't done that much. So maybe we can beat another top three. Who knows? Let's see, another top three in the East. Who, who is that that uh, <laughs> the Stephen Orr is talking? Oh, Florida hasn't played them yet. See the SEC East standings right now. This is a devastating loss for Tennessee, maybe. It, it is, and for, for uh, Phil Fulmer, you, you just can't have this. At Tennessee, you're a top five team preseason to lose like this, but Steve Spurrier owns Phil Fulmer. He's 8-3 and three against Phil Fulmer. You know when you got your dog, you had your dog around the house for about 10 years, and you walk into the room and say, Sit, Ubu, sit, and he sits. That's what Spurrier is to Fulmer right now because he owns wow. Phil Fulmer. And he went in there with less talent. He outcoached Tennessee. And for Tennessee's offense with all their talent, preseason ranking in the top five, they're supposed to be battling for a national championship with their offensive coordinator, Randy Sanders, at this point to come away with 15 points. That's an embarrassment with the talent that they have on offense. Well, first of all, let's understand that Steve Spurrier owns a lot of coaches in the Southeastern Conference. And it's very disappointing for Tennessee. But how great it is for the Tennessee, or for the South Carolina players to win. How great it is for their fans. How great is it for the Southeastern Conference. How great is it for Steve Spurrier. I think it's wonderful to have South Carolina win a game this big and see the excitement that's going to happen in the country. No more of them will happen. Uh, we'll see. Uh, South Carolina is a team that struggled. They got blitzed by Alabama yep. and Auburn. And the ball to the tailback. That's what that, those two teams have been able to run on South Carolina. Tennessee did, but they weren't able to get it into the end zone. Who are some of those other coaches that Spurrier owned in the SEC? <laughs> <laughs> not, not Tommy Tuberville this year. <laughs> I tell you, you know, what, in the Mark, SEC East. I, I wonder if we could have a show without <laughs> <laughs> Georgia and Florida, man, the world's largest.